the Greenwood here at the Crown Bee. And we're at Winter's House making the most fun Halloween DIYs for you guys today. I'm so excited. It's gloomy, it's rainy. We're gonna tuck into the workshop and we're gonna make some beautiful things. Now we're gonna do the Halloween series a little different. I've had some of my subscribers ask if we can break it down into some smaller projects so it's not so overwhelming. So our Halloween series are gonna be individual. Today we're gonna be making a gorgeous tablescape. Uh, you, this could go on the back of a sofa table. It could go across the mantle. You can make it as big or as small as you wish. And the most wonderful thing about this is it only costs a few dollars. This is all Dollar Tree products. So this is really a great way uh, to spend very little money but get a big high-end look. So you guys, let's head on into the studio and let's make this gorgeous tablescape together. It's really beautiful. As always, thank you for coming by the Crown Bee and much love and happy Halloween. This next project is so fun and so easy. We're gonna be using more of these Dollar Tree cutouts. Um, and we're gonna be making a haunted house display that I think would be beautiful going down a dining room table with lights or on a mantle. I think these silhouettes are fun. I think we have six or seven of them. I have this old kind of funky board um, that's kind of already distressed, painted, but we're gonna paint it black. We're gonna paint the houses black and we're gonna get started on this awesome project. This is really gonna look high end when we're done. We're gonna give it some great glitter, a little sparkle, some tea lights or um, little orange lights, a string of those. And I think this is gonna be really a wonderful tablescape. All of these little ladies are glued down and I want to show you how beautiful these are. Um, I did go back and end up adding a little bit of these 6,000. And look, how fun is that? Now is where the fun really, really begins because we're going to embellish these with some lights. Um, I may put a little moss and stuff behind it where the lights sit, um, but even if you just went this far, I think it's really beautiful, I have to say. Okay, these spooky little mansions are all glued and cured and ready to decorate. And I simply was kind of looking at it thinking, hmm, we can add another layer to it. So I found these little glittery branches um, at Dollar Tree and I took my wire cutter, snipped off the end to the length that I wanted, drilled a tiny little pilot hole and I'm gonna glue these little fellas in there. And I think it gives it another little dimension of spookiness. Plus, Dollar Tree has some great embellishments. These bats, I love, they're all glittered and ready to go and they come with a clip. So you just simply clip it to the uh, branches of the tree. They also have these spooky little spiders. They have little skulls, little skeletons, little pumpkins. So really the sky is the limit. Now, I was looking at it from your viewpoint and I think it needs a layer of um, maybe some moss. And I'm gonna use, I have some green moss, brother, but it looks a little too happy. So I'm gonna be using this Spanish moss. I really like the, the Spanish moss that has no color, but this is all that I had in my workshop. So we're gonna add that to it. And then I'm gonna string my lights through the back of this, kind of weaving in and out around the trees and kind of making it look like the spooky lights on in the haunted mansions. But 
if you don't have a battery pack of lights, these I got at Dollar Tree. They had some other options that would be great too, and I almost used these. It was a close, it was a close uh, call for either. Um, these are little votos. Uh, at Dollar Tree and their little spider webs all over them and they're beautiful. These would be great behind each house with a flickering candle. I wouldn't use a real candle. That is the mickens for burning your house down for real, um, trust me. Um, but you can also use, they have some flameless candles there that are Halloween -y in nature. Um, and you could distress those down and make them kind of like old and spooky. And I think the candles would be beautiful, especially if you this was a tablescape going down the middle of a big farmhouse table or something. But since this is gonna go on my mantle, I'm kind of happy with just using the lights because I want it to look like the lights are on um, and all the ghosts are home. So we're gonna go ahead and glue these trees, put down the moths, string the lights, and then I'm gonna bring you guys back for the final project reveal.